Good day, guys. Welcome back to another episode. We're working on the boat. See, this is just a funny thing. Pinnacle's flying here. Might seem a bit over here. So Reese and I just just um, picked up a new 40 Yamaha four stroke and um, it's time for us to yeah get this thing sorted so we can go out a bit further offshore. I know it only is a small boat. This boat, oh, I'll quickly run through this boat. It's a plate alloy um, DIY boat that our mate Coxie built in his shed. Um, he built, he's built a couple of boats for him, one in, one for him and one for his brother, big game boats. And he's also built a whole bunch of other different boats. Um, yeah, all in his backyard, it's mental. So he built this hull as well, which is a four mil plate alloy boat. Yeah, you can get them from online. And there's a mob down in Sydney, um, the DIY kits. You can also buy them um fully made so yeah reese and i my brother went halves in this boat and halves yeah halves in everything on this boat except i built the trailer so yeah we um are slowly fitting it out we finally got a heap of stuff i got um i was lucky enough um the position i'm i'm in um i reached out to gme and they I'm lucky enough that they threw in some stuff for the boat. Um, I got a Minn Kota um, off my mate Davo. Um, I got some stuff from Steady. I'm just, last thing we need now is a sounder. Um, but we've got everything really to start fitting it out and do it properly. We've got, um, yeah, well, I'll take you through here. Let's look at this. I've got speakers, because we've got a stereo, um, which is there which is the compact marine stereo. It's all Bluetooth and all sorts of stuff. Um, we've got some lights from Steady. Um, we've got some surface, some rock lights, basically surface mount lights. I'll put them in. I've got um, all the necessary lights I need, nav lights. Um, I've got a VHF marine radio from GME. That's sick, it's white as well. And then I've got the big whip just there. And then they're throwing me a GPS EPIRB. So all the stuff we need to go, you know, yeah, offshore. And to be able to do it safely. Um, I mean, we've just got to get some, what else do we need? Oh, you know, flares and things like that, but that's all right. They're not too expensive. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start sort of tinkering the Salvo. And, um, Get a little bit here, maybe maybe some nav lights on. Might mount the GPS thingamaj thingamajiggy for um, the Minn Kota. Uh, not too much, but we'll see. I'm just gonna drink some beers and do this. Got a battery over there that I'll put in the hole for the motor. Um, but yeah, this boat is so sick. The mighty Bruce. <laughs> it's an absolute weapon. We we got it, not 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 just because we got it cheap, and it just happened to fit the trailer that um I built. But I'm gonna start bringing some more content. I want to do some solo missions in this. Um, so look out for that. Um, yeah, camping camping missions. So yeah, it's it's a absolute beast of a boat everywhere we go we get comments on it asking where it's from who made it you know because it just looks so solid it's so sick but that's enough about that um yeah oh did i say how big it was it's 4.25 it's called it's called the adventurer so it's kind of built for sort of top end um barra fishing um, basically, that's what I think I was told from memory. Um, the bloke that owns that 
that makes all these kits, um, play, uh, Mr. Play Alloy. Coxie said he'd build it um, for, yeah, barra, sort of top end barra fishing, hitting the estuaries and stuff like that. But we're kind of going to set it up to go marlin fishing offshore. It's pretty loose. But it's so stable, it hooks. Um, yeah, and we absolutely love it. So, all right, enough about that. Let's get some more beers and start drilling some holes in a boat. <laughs> That is also a stitch up. This is too many stitch ups one day. It looks like I'm getting a battery box. I didn't want it because that is meant to house the battery. That's like a perfect little spot for it. Out of the elements, away from everything. Now I could put two fuel tanks in. <laughs> Bring it out. <laughs> hey, how good is that? Just need a stainless steel prop because we want to um, get a little bit more top end and some bottom end at the same time. So these, from what I've been told, I don't know. This is our first proper boat that we've had. We had a boat, our dad had a boat years ago. Um, yeah, I don't know too much. I'm still learning about props and things like that. So I've got to get a stainless steel prop from what I've been told. But that makes it so much better. <laughs> Ooh, yes. I'm so excited to take this out. Once I've got it sorted, hopefully we can get it, you know, 90% of the way sorted for next weekend. <laughs> side done. I've got the two steady lights all wired together now. And I'm going to run it up through the front around all the way to this um, switch at the front here. This one here when it's um, all done. So all the wires are up out of the way in the casting deck there. But I'm cruising along nicely. Just channeling my inner DMF auto electrics. So told Dan I'm going to take my time and do it correctly. So he's proud of me. I don't know. Just taking my time. I want to do it correctly because my engine bay is not done correctly. It's like a spaghetti factory. So in the boat, there's a lot less space, you know, in terms of like putting things in. So I need to make it as neat as possible and do it properly. So I don't have any problems when we're out fishing. Oh man. Whew, what a bloody mission. What is it? Five past three. I've just hooked up the battery. I've cut off all my zip ties. What else? I've put in a, um, what's the word? <laughs> Isolating switch for all the electrics that I've got on here so far. And I haven't tested it yet. So, I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Let's put this in and we'll see what happens. On, righty up. Let's flick a switch, cabin light. Oh no.
<laughs> you idiot. They're around the wrong way. <laughs> Something was always gonna happen. <laughs> Round two. Positive, negative. Let's flick that on. And let's see what happens. Hey! <laughs> We've got a blue one over here. Oh, take that off. <laughs> yes. Radio, that's them. Let's flick on the nav lights. <laughs> got red. We got the anchor light down the back there. We got the green one, starboard and stern. Port and starboard, stern. Stereo. Radio. Oh. You bloody beauty. <laughs> oh. Thank you. I am so happy about that. I've taken so much time to just like make it right in here. I've got it working. And it's all soldered, all heat shrunk. I've got two wires going to the battery. Um, <laughs> I've got to have a celebratory beer. <laughs> you don't know how happy that makes me feel. Knowing that I actually did this spot on the first time. There's been so many times that I've done some wiring and then it just hasn't turned on. <laughs> oh man. And it's so disheartening when you put in a whole day's efforts and then nothing happens. Oh. I'm so happy. Oh. <laughs> How bloody good is this? I've made an absolute mess of my shed and the boats today, but we are looking so good. This, this light, oh, I better turn that down. So these um, steady lights, just throwing light really well. Then I've got the nav lights either side, not the back there. I've just been standing in the boat listening to music drinking beers and it's just I'm so happy <sighs> oh, so just when you think you're doing everything correct spanner gets thrown in the works and it turns out these bloody nav lights that I bought a side mount not horizontal mount. <sighs> they looked all the same to me when I was buying them at Road Tech Marine. That's a pain in the ass. That's all right, I'll um, go and buy some new ones. It's easy to change, I'll just cut them. Leave a bit of length on there, put two little plugs on there and Bob's your uncle, bing bang boom, we're good to go. So I'm not too worried about that, but that's still just a pain in the ass that I've got to change that. I'm so stoked. Yeah, I actually got it completed. Well, all I need is the another battery for the front just to sort out that back hatch there to put the cranking battery in there i've got to cut that one out and um put a bigger hatch in there so i can put the battery in and take the battery out it's all tucked away nice and neat got the um gme vhf over there oh 
Yeah, I'm so happy. All the wiring, we can't even see any of the wiring. I actually just like took my time, did it properly, did it once. That's what I'm more happy about. <laughs> actually doing something correct the right way for once. And being a small boat, we had to, I had to do it right the first time. But, I think that's it for me. All I need now is a sounder. I think I'm going to look at the GM, no, uh, not GME, um, the Garmin Eco, EcoMap Ultra. Um, yeah, been doing a lot of research this morning. I think that's what I'm going to buy. So, G um, Garmin, if you just happen to be watching, <laughs> I could do it with the sounder. Um, but there's just a few companies that I want to thank um, with this build that, that have helped me out. Um, biggest one being uh, GME. Um, Dan at GME hooked me up. Um, yeah, so they supplied the um, stereo, the antenna, uh, the VHF, what else, the EPIRB, um, and the XRS that's in my car, um, and then Steady threw me some lights, I got the Steady Marine Rock lights, the surface lights, um, I got some other floodlights that I'm going to put up the front there as well so they've helped out and gave me those as well um, Davo, my mate Davo that I go fishing with heaps and he's been in the videos he sorted me out a Minn Kota on for this thing so I owe him a few days worth of work we come to a deal <laughs> um, yeah anyway I'll leave all the in the links to all the products that I've used in the boat but yeah for now I'm going to sit back drink some beers Let's... <laughs> it's so sick man once it's fully set up with the sounder and all the lights and on the water I'll give you a full walkthrough of everything in more detail and a bit more about the boat itself Everywhere we go, it's just people ask us about it, so we're bloody stoked with it. But thanks for watching. Hope it wasn't too boring. Yeah, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. <laughs>